a fantastic performance. Thank you very much for being here. We're thrilled. And uh, you got this power over them. Uh, you, I noticed uh, during your performance you had this shovel out there, and you still have the shovel. What is the significance of the shovel, please? Uh, shovel, please. Well, all right. This is this started at home, and uh, my my family thinks I'm a little imbalanced, but I want to get your opinion. Get my opinion, okay. You know when they uh, they took a, a, a cheese sandwich and they said they found the image of the Virgin Mary on the cheese sandwich? That's right, I remember that, yeah. And they were selling for like 23 grand or something. Yeah, it sold for a lot of money, yeah. yeah. Well, this is kind of the same thing, only it's a shovel from my uh, fireplace. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I found the image of the devil on it. And, uh, Let's see, I mean... Pull that out there and see if we can. Let's put it up right here on the desk. Maybe that's the best yeah. way to get right. a shot you, of it. You tell me. Yeah, all right, let's see if we can see. Is that? You tell me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is the devil. It's let's. Not, it's not a photograph. No. <laughs> that is the but devil, I think. There is evidence that there's an evil uh, entity in my fireplace. Yeah, yeah. It's some kind of a weird primitive email that yeah. I got. <laughs> so we should sell this while we're here. We'll get the bidding going at ten thousand dollars, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah, I right. Uh, alert, the, alert the Vatican. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was talking uh, with uh, with Snoop about words, and he loves right. making up words. You're fascinated w with words. Uh, oh, a yeah. word will come along, and it will catch your ear in a certain way, and you'll play with it for a while. Is that true? Well, I guess we all do. Yeah. I mean, because words are are, are, are like music. They are, they're music. Before you understand what they are, they already have some value to them. You know? I find if you put a pause in the wrong place, you know, in a word or in a sentence, it completely changes the, the, the values in the, in the sentence. Mm -hmm. you know, like, um, I'll give you an example. I had a hamburger the, the other night, and uh, I asked the lady if she would give me some condom mints. Yeah. <laughs> sure. See the difference? You like burped in between and you broke it up accidentally, yeah. yeah. Condiments. Yeah. It sounds Condiments. like it sounds like something you get at the Ritz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I did, yeah. Um, do you uh, you also love, as you mentioned, you love you, uh, you love words, you love sounds. Uh, and you like sounds that you don't usually hear in music. What oh, okay. you like to create sounds right. different ways. Okay, all right, here's an example. I mean uh, all right, everybody likes the sound of, like, for example, uh, somebody tossing a piano out of the window of, a, like, a 40-story building. Great sound. That's a great dramatic sound, yeah. Here's the one that, that kills me, is an orchestra tuning up. It sounds simple, but a lot of times, I leave the theater after they're done tuning up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't stick around for the whole thing. You just go, yeah. It's a waste of my time. Right? Yeah, yeah. I got, I got what I came for. Sure, yeah. sure. But, uh, but, but the thing is about, about yeah, instruments is that, um, like, if you take and find a, the lid for a 50-gallon drum and you hit it with a mallet, mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. you get a pleasing sound. I get a pleasing sound, I guess yeah. I should say. Um, the difference is that, that most most things you find on the side of the road, if, if you if you introduce them into show business that way, it's like a lot of them won't work with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying an inanimate object, its attitude about itself changes once you make it a musical instrument. Yeah, the lid starts feeling like a Chinese gong. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, so no. they, get, they get uppity. <laughs> It starts to know that it's in the business. It wants 10%. It and, wants to... And never stop. You put, you put strings on a dumpster once, didn't you? To get a sound out of it? And I'm saying that in an accusing way, I just realized. But I did. You I did. did. Yeah. I did put strings on a dumpster, and uh, I did get a pleasing sound from it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I, I believe it. You learn, I, you know, I was listening to Orphans, Brawlers, uh, Ballers, and Bastards, and uh, you actually, there are sections where you, uh, this section where you're, you actually give out some information uh, where you can learn about insects, is that right, in the, in the, in the album? It's called uh, Army Ants. Yeah. Army Ants, it's yeah. A, uh, the whirligig beetle is wary and fast with an organ to detect the ripples. The arachnid moths lay their eggs inside other insects along the borders of fields or roads. <laughs> it's good to learn. Uh, you, 
You like to observe nature yourself. What have you learned observing nature? What have you learned from just observing uh, animals recently? Okay, well, you know, it's May, so you know, there's a lot of crows out. Uh, everybody knows that, that crows are the teenagers of the bird world, and they, uh, you know, Crows are the teenagers of the bird world? I didn't know that. Well, they are. Uh, they, they finish all their work by 9 a.m., and they have all this free time, and, you know, so they <laughs> go out and play soccer, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they play soccer? Really? Well, I saw it in my yard with a white rock. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no good punk kids. <laughs> kids today. <laughs> uh, orphans, uh, Brawlers, Ballers, and Bastards uh, is in stores now. And this was, uh, this was a real, uh, this, is, this is a real honor. Thank oh, you so much, sir. You. Yeah, really. Oh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you for being here. Tom Waits, everybody. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.